I'm Debbie Crawford. And I'm Carson Bailey. And we're with KentuckyAnnaNews.com, bridging the gap with the voices of Kentuckyanna, where we partner with different entities in the region to bring you the news, weather, and stories of unique people, places, and events. And with our latest partnership, we're ahead of schedule. We've been working with Jay Cardosi with WLKY to bring you something new. He will be bringing you the weather each week. So you'll have to stay tuned to Madison TV 15's cable station. It will air on there. It will be on KentuckyAnnaNews.com and Bridging the Gap. So with no further ado, here's Jay. This exclusive forecast for Madison, Indiana is provided by WLKY Weather. Whenever you need the forecast, just ask, what's Jay say? Hi, everybody. I'm WLKY Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. A lot of things happening in Madison, of course, as we move into the weekend, highlighted by two major events this go around, both on Saturday. Late morning through midday, we have the architectural walking tour going on. This is a guided tour that begins and ends at Broadway Fountain. Should be a great event. Check that one out. Later in the day, 6 o'clock in the evening to 10 o'clock at night, the Riverfront, Weinstein, and Barrel. What a great event. This is happening at Bicentennial Park. Music, art, food, wine, bourbon, and beer. Be sure and check it out. For more information and tickets, be sure and call that number on your screen. The weather forecast for Saturday looks okay. It's going to be warm and sticky right around 90. A slight chance for a late day storm. Hey, Jay, tell us what do you say? Hey, Jay, what do we say? We can count on you. After two decades, we can say a lot about Jay Cardosi. We can say he has your most accurate forecast and is the Ohio Valley weather expert. But it's not about what we say. What matters is what's Jay say. What's Jay say about your weekend plans, your Little League game? His answer is still the one more people trust. Want to know the forecast? Just ask. What's what's Jay Jay say? Say? So big that you had to bring Dawn in. But yes. did Dawn just did you just volunteer or did she come and get you? I think I just kind of volunteered. Yeah, you volunteered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don does that. It's like, he, he's yeah, our, okay, I'll do that. He's <laughs> our saddle tree, one of our saddle tree volunteers. Right. And a dedicated saddle tree volunteer. Was there a lot that you had to learn once that you decided to do this tour? Did did you already know the information? There's a lot of detail. I knew you know generally. Right. what I was going to be talking about, but then Rhonda did a great notebook, so I could go through the notebook and, and pretty much pick up <laughs> any of the details that I needed. So yeah, awesome. We have this binder book and, and we put in historic photographs so that as we're walking around, we can show the historic photographs because I thought it would be interesting people could see before and now. Um, Oh, that is interesting. Plus, it, it gives you, if you're tired that day, and you... Yeah. <laughs> some days, yeah. Look at the photograph. <laughs> well, no, it just we kind of triggers that. your memory. You, you right. have the binder, right. and you're like, wait a minute, there's something cool I forgot. Oh, here it is. And then you can right. tell everybody. So That's right. And then nice there's days the that I don't have time to even reference that binder. because That's people, on the group. Yeah, it really does depend on the group. And we get people from all over. Uh, last year, I had a, a group that was a reunion, a family reunion from Kansas, and they were, yeah, Kansas, and uh, Missouri, and North Dakota, and they came to Clifty Falls for the weekend, and they heard about the tour. So, they came down as a group. Oh, wow, that's, that's I, I had very little time to show them photographs. Oh, no. Very little time. You didn't have time. <laughs> so, is this something that you want to continue to do, Don? Oh, absolutely, yes. And, and why is that? What, why is, why well, is it kind I think of interesting? We're kind of sitting on a gold mine here. These old houses are, as Rhonda says, it's artwork. And yet part of the uh, thing that we want to get across is 
that uh, yes, it's like artwork, but also real people built these houses 170 years ago, and real people live in the houses even today and love them. Uh, and I think that's a very important point. We're not a museum. This is this is right. a, a community. It's a community where people yeah. live. It just happens that we enjoy the architecture a lot. That's that, why we're here. I had a lady tell me once that um, she looked at Madison, Indiana, with all the consecutive blocks of historical buildings. It's 133 three, three three blocks. Yeah. I always want to say 134. So I know that's not right. It's all right. Little, you another one. Yeah, it's a little over <laughs> 2,000 buildings. Right. On them. And, and she said it's like the um, Yellowstone National Park. It's so big. You know, considering <laughs> most historical districts are not anywhere near this. But place. I still think it's like a university campus. It's probably as big yes. as a university campus, so you can walk the whole thing in five yes. minutes you can be anywhere right so that makes it easy and walkable bikeable people we are a golf cart community now so people like oh, to use yeah. their golf carts and do these tours too so and there's also places to rent golf carts so if mm -hmm. they want to do the tour they can actually yep and we've had to do that with if there's a problem with somebody older person, that older or... person that needs to do that yeah, yeah. awesome we try yeah. to accommodate as much as we can what triggered your interest in his, history and historical buildings when i was in high school i visited <laughs> oh my goodness and uh, my teacher's brother taught english history and architecture and uh, as we traveled around through england that summer um, i got to the point where i could tell you when a building was built which style of gothic architecture it was and so it was just a natural when we moved here years and years later um i fell right into it I, i've always loved old houses right. and buildings so you have that that knack for <laughs> history there. and it's it there. just sticks in your head so that's mm -hmm. awesome mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. most people i mean it's hard to remember all the historical things about a building like this one you know how old it is, who built it, and when it turned into a funeral home, and when it turned back into a, you know, mm -hmm. resident type thing, right. and then a venue. So yeah, it's, it can be, and to remember all those two hours worth. Yeah, that's, that's pretty why. Good. That's why I say <laughs> sometimes we have to cut out some. Well, and, and the one, and one gets, house will trigger your yeah, memory. Your memory to do oh, something to else. Move Does, on to the next right. house and to talk about that. Oh, wow. So the memory gets triggered by the different places. That now it's gotten so big after several years of just first it was you and then it was you and Don. Mm -hmm. Now you've got more volunteers oh, that you have to have. And that's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful to have people very interested in right. being guides because it it is a happy experience. We love doing it, and there it's just great to meet people from from all over. They're so good though that we can hardly get a tour, tour in. Tour <laughs> in now during the summer time. Awesome. It's like, that's yeah, all right, yeah, I got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, man, I only have one time this whole summer. <laughs> Happy, it's really cool to meet you. I have not met you before. And Rhonda and Don talk about how wonderful you are on these tours. What brought you here? I know you didn't originally grow up here, but where did you come from and, and why did you end up here? Well, my husband and I found Madison kind of by accident on a vacation one year. We were in Chicago and looking for a place to retire to, and Madison just has been the place of our dreams. We really, really love the architecture here. That was the first thing that we loved about Madison, and now we love the architecture and the people and all the wonderful things that are going on here, but our first love was the architecture, and that's, of course, what drew me to the Rhonda and Don's architecture walking tour. I think this is awesome. Um, now, how did you find out about the walking tour and then end up being a tour guide? Well, we volunteer in other ways for HMI, so of course we heard about the walking tour through HMI, and we went on the walking tour and enjoyed it very much, and people who come on the tour from out of town are very enthusiastic, and it's a very fun, active thing to take them down Second Street, down Broadway, on Poplar, on Main, and just give them a sense of the breadth and diversity that's Madison's architecture. One of the things we love about the tour is that it highlights the things that Madison is so well known for, the Italianate and the Greek Revival and the Federal architecture, the ones that, you know, Madison has such 
wonderful, wonderful examples of. But the tour has really fun stuff on it too. Like it has a couple of what are probably Sears homes. And we actually have the catalog entry from the Sears catalog for what is probably those two homes. It also has colonial homes on it. Uh, it has Queen Anne's. Uh, it's really a fun tour with a wide diversity of different architectural styles.